y'all welcome back to my channel today i am doing a video on how to use the online portal for ashworth college um someone was interested in the comments about how that works so i'm going to show you guys really quick on how easy it is so before we get started if you guys are not subscribed yet i really appreciate if you go ahead and click the subscribe button also if this video helps you in any way at all and you like this video don't forget to press the like button as well that way other people can find my videos so we're gonna get right into it so what we're looking at right now is the ashworth college online student portal here is where you're going to sign in so all you would do is put in your email address which will be your username and then your password and you just press log in and from there it's going to take you to your dashboard now yours will look different than mine because of course you might be doing a different program your student number is going to be different um you know name all things like that so pretty much it's really simple right here it'll show your profile here is your courses uh, you have your grades that are here like right here I got a 96 on my exam shows you when your next payment is due and then um, how far you are into completing your program it also um, show like updates on the Instagram page there resources frequently asked questions documents um, it'll list your transcripts and blase blase. So um, basically, this right here that I'm about to press on is your course home. And um, on your course home, if it'll open up, it's running slow. I don't have the best internet, y'all, so bear with me. But um, here is where it should show like um, your courses that you're currently enrolled into. So like right here, these are the four courses that I'm rolled, enrolled into. Now I'm done with this one for some reason. I don't know why it's still here. I need to call and see um, why it's still on there. But here it is. It says, welcome, Candace. We're excited to have you as a student at Ashworth. And then look, here's a video right here that shows you basic navigation um, for Ashworth. And then it'll show you other helpful videos. So all this information right here is really good to look into if you um, are struggling with anything as far as like how to get into your classes and things like that. Here's the contact information right here is the Learning Research Resource Center. And in the Learning Resource Center, there's just different things that you can use to help you with uh your coursework so like right here's the math lab writing lab the library career services and guidance center so each of those can help you with your coursework sorry i just went blank but um i haven't had to use any of these except for the writing lab and then the college library but that's about it i haven't had to use the math lab yet because i'm not in math yet so I'm going to go back to the home page again. And like I said, right here, it'll show your courses. Now, I want to say um, you're only limited to a certain amount of courses that you can take. Um, but I have a total of four open right now. I thought you can only have two open at a time. But as you can see, I have four of those open there. So this is my intro to computer course. And I've already finished this one as well, I believe. Yeah, I did. So I'm not really sure why they're still open, but because it's supposed to close out automatically. But there it is again. It says, welcome, Candace. If you need help on how to navigate your course, click on the house icon. And it will take you to the My Course homepage. And from there, it'll um, it'll help you, help you figure out how to get into your content. So right here, I've already pressed Introduction to Computers. I'm going to go to content and this is where all of my assignments will be so give it a second and we'll load any moment it'll load okay here it is so right here's the course introduction 
press down and like pretty much you need to go through all of this your course syllabus as your instructor just I, you know just to be thorough make sure you don't miss anything go through all of that information and then right here is my module one and it gives you an introduction here so basically like right here it shows you that you have a reading assignment that you have to complete which i've already done um, it tells you you need to do an online lecture and then submit your model one quiz. Now it says Sunday right here, but you guys, it's not required to complete it by Sunday. That's just suggested. So yeah, and then right here, like you're supposed to like actually go into the library and search these. But if you get lucky, if you go to the lecture right here, it should uh, pull up the book you need to read. If it'll hurry up. So yeah, you would just press start your course and then yeah, it'll take you through all these modules. And you might not get done with it one day, but if you can, great. But it might not take you one day. So once you get done with the module, one lecture then you'll go to the quiz and take the quiz now i apologize because i thought that it will actually let you like click there it is where it is i knew it right here so your readings you can just press on this to get to it instead of having to search it in the library so there it is um so yeah so once you complete your course you would take your survey and then it should close out, but for some reason, didn't close out for me. I'm not sure why. But anyways, I'm going back to the dashboard now. And pretty much that's how, like, all of all of it works. Um, this is my English composition class. This one looks different. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so, yeah, it just depends on how your teacher sets it up. Like uh, my teacher right here, she had like an introduction letter and she put all her information there on how to contact her. So right here is where I would go to content to get to my coursework and it will pull up. And there we are. So as y'all can see like it did look different in the beginning but basically once you go to your content page it takes you right to where you need to go so you would click on lesson one or actually library first and if there's readings in there that you need to do it will show you maybe you might some have some maybe you don't it depends on your teacher Okay, it's taking too long to load. So, um, we're just going to move on. So, oh, there it is. So, yeah, this is just resources, you know, that you might need in order to complete your coursework. But this is lesson one. It goes over the, the, over the description and objectives. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Seems like I'm rambling, but y'all, it's taking so long to, for my computer to load. I apologize. But um, pretty much any time you go into a lesson, it'll give you a description and objective. And then it'll have your lesson and then you'll have your quiz. So like right here, lesson one, pre-writing pre in the art of the paragraph. I read that and it gives me all of my objectives here. But then I will go to my reading assignments and complete my reading assignments so this right here is all i need to read it'll tell me there's no textbook for this course so i will go through all of these and then i will go to my quiz now um if you wanted to just go directly to your quizzes you can like right here you can press quizzes and it'll take you right over to all your quizzes so yes, like I've only taken quiz one and quiz three. Um, now you see how this jumps around like quiz one, quiz three, quiz five. It's because I also have some assignments. So 
I would have like a, I think assignment two. Hold on, let's just put it pulled up. Like we yeah, have assignment two, assignment four, assignment six, assignment eight. So it jumps around because I have some quizzes and then some assignments on my lessons. They're not all just quizzes. Then right here is my grades. I'm doing good in this class so far. Um, so I'm not embarrassed to let y'all look at my grades or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I did a really good job on my paper. Um, really good job on my exam so far. And this shows me how many more assignments and lesson exams I have. So that is pretty much the basics i'm gonna so yeah this is just a basic video on how you uh open up your courses and get into the online portal um there's really not anything else to really show you guys on here um but like i said if you have any questions you can definitely reach out to the advisor or you can reach out to um, anybody in tech support or customer service and they can help you out probably a lot better than I can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos about this journey. And I will let you guys know the good and the bad. I mean, so far, so good. Everything's been really, really good. But, you know, if anything happens that y'all need to know about, I will definitely let you guys know. So please don't forget to subscribe. And also, if this video helped you in any way, don't forget to like this video down below. But yeah, this is going to conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.